Whoa. I feel like I'm in one of those cameras that goes inside people's bodies. Don't know where I'm going, I'm just following the cheese. What is up all you beautiful people on YouTube? My name is Jay, AKA the Game Pass Gamer, and today we're back with episode three of our Deliver Us the Moon gameplay walkthrough. First episode, we took that rocket, launched it to space. Second episode, it was like a gravity-esque type issue. We got our MPT blown up and we had to like get on this elevator thing and take it down to the moon surface, which we're, is where we finally are. So let's jump in there and see how far we can go. Just a reminder about the giveaway on the channel. As always, 500 subscribers. Once I reach that amount, I'll be giving away Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which is Xbox Live and Xbox Game Pass combined. All you gotta do is subscribe and hit that bell. Now, like I said before, the bell's not required, but how are you gonna know if that when that video posts? I need to get a new chair. This chair is bothering the hell out of me. It squeaks so much. Hear it? Anyway, it's on my, my to-do list, don't worry. All right, here we go. Wait, I think we already saw this, didn't we? Yeah, okay, this is us on that elevator thing I was talking about. Now we're at the Copernicus Moon Hub. There it is. All right, let's get our adventure going. All right, oh shoot, what was that? Oh my gosh. I think they inverted the controls somehow. No, they didn't. What am I talking about? Okay. Uh, retrieve an ASC unit to gain access to MPG control center. Okay. Oh, I actually can walk around. This is nice. I'm not floating through space anymore. Um. Okay, MP teamwork offline, of course. Station power, very low. Run diagnostic at the MPG control center. Open doors. This game, something else. Open door, where's the door? Oh. <laughs> Copernicus Moon Hub, 2059, five years after the blackout. Man, they had like a whole like, looks like the Jurassic Park uh, plaza. Funny enough, though, it kind of looks like Jurassic Park Plaza as well because it got all destroyed. Oh, that's where I just read. Looks like I have to go this way. Kind of like leading me through here. Let's see what this is. Let's listen. Hello? Hello? It seems empty. Where is everyone? I have no idea. I've never seen the base like this. Is Alex getting any heat signatures? No, nothing. This can't be right. I'll go downstairs, see what I can find. Sarah, we'll figure this one out. And thank you, both of you, for saving me when the blackout hit. I know I am. Um... Expedition team, you must be at the surface by now. Remember, you only have 40 minutes down there. Copy that, Pearson. Don't mention it, Rolf. Can you check out the control center and see what's wrong with the MPT? Will do. Keep your comms on. I'll update you when I find something. All right, so people abandoned ship. They went to the MPT after the blackout and people are gone. I don't know who Captain Pearson is. Oh, here's Isaac Johansson. We talked about him earlier, episode one. Oh, shoot. What is this? Isaac was devastated when he learned of his wife's death in the dust storm. Uh, on Earth in 2049. Unwilling to keep his daughters exposed to Earth's worsening conditions, he summoned them to join him on the moon. Claire refused out of concern over Kathy's health and looked after her sister until Isaac exerted his influence to gain legal guardianship over Kathy. Kathy was brought to the moon soon after. Wow, imagine winning a custody battle and you live on the moon. There's more of those depressant pills. Oh, this little drawing right here. Oh, this is Claire when she's a little girl. She's up here drawing stuff. That's funny. She's on top of the world. Oh, what's this? 
Priscilla Flowers, five lessons to make a perfect parent. Oh, see? Well, at least he was trying to, uh, be a good dad up here in space. Hmm. I mean, this is the future, so people probably do live on space in the future. Or live on Earth. World Secret Service. This is to certify that Chief Operation MacArthur is honorably discharged from the World Secret Service for years of excellence, diligence, and distinguished service. Okay. MacArthur, brief update. The evacuees from Tombo are settled in. And MacArthur, the bedlam at Tombo can never happen again. I'll have no part in that. Isaac Johansson. Good. Then we can begin soon. The time for them to make a decision. And again, I can't read what Isaac says. Is that on purpose? I don't know. Okay. Nothing in there still. What's our mission? Oh yeah, get the ASC unit. This is Rosa Laverde. We heard about her. Oh, she got a big old room. Objective. MPT 100% Earth coverage. Interesting. Okay. WSA recruits top scientists to Lunar Council. I'm not going to read all that. Oh my gosh. I'll leave it on the screen here if you guys want to pause and read it. I mean, I like reading, but I don't want these videos to go 50 minutes long. Let's read the first sentence and the last sentence. Preparation of mission to colonize the moon. WSA has filled the ranks of this lunar council. It is believed the joint knowledge and experience have proved vital. Okay, so they're promoting two people or people to the council. See how it works? Just, just the cliff notes. Just the cliff notes. All right, let's hightail it over here. What is this? Nothing. I got to get an ASC unit. Ooh, inspect this. Speech. Crossroads. Tombow. Earth. The best and brightest. The new age. Outward. Oh, someone was on this podium here giving a speech to everybody. That's his, that's his little cliff notes that we just talked about. Ah, water cooler. Wait, what? It's got some water. How do they get how do they get the no gravity here in space on the moon? I just thought of that. How do they get like no Is this interesting? Oh, of course security sections closed. Yo, but that is dope. That is cool looking. Wow, they did a great job with this game to make it feel like shadows and stuff. Like it looks like the photographs from like the eighties. Seventies. Oh shoot, what is this? What are you guys? Oh, this is the, is that the ASC unit? Little ghost thingies? On the cover? Ah, ah. William, what the hell was that speech about? Our next chapter, Rosa. It's time. The ships will be ready soon. You can't be serious. I don't know how you plan to fix this mess, but you'd better do it now. That won't be necessary. Come with me. You are serious. Will, have you lost your mind? We can't leave the colony behind like this, not during this blackout. Not with the MPT signal still offline. People on Earth depend on us. Don't concern yourself with them. Those days are over. We have to start the long journey ahead. That was the agreement. The ships were supposed to be our last resort. We didn't give up the first time, and we are not giving up now. When the network is back online, we can provide Earth with power again. We are close, William. No, we're not. We're not close at all. If you still think we can power the entirety of Earth with the MPT, you're more delusional than I thought. We have one last hope, and it's outward. Now get ready, because we're going. I'm not leaving, Will. Not like this. I'm not asking. Get her on the ship. What? Ah! Uh, is this really... You said, ah! Well, they're taking her away. So like, she, like it was in her room, that board, she thinks that she can use the MPT power to power the Earth. We witnessed something. After an ominous speech, Lunar Council member William MacArthur comes to collect his colleague for a mysterious journey. Outraged, she refused to join him and contends the MPT and Earth can't be saved. Talked about. This is... MacArthur didn't take no for an answer and forced to come with him. This is four minutes after the blackout. 
I'm thinking he he knows something or did something that that caused the blackout. Mysterious journey sounds too fishy, too mysterious. Shoot, now I can't leave. Oh, that's why. I grab this. Um, can I go this way. Yeah. Ooh, what's this? Once again, I am. All, oh, yes. Look at this. I know my way around this ship. Wait, technically it's not a ship. Um. What do I Okay, I'm guessing it has to go in the maintenance part here. These doors just keep opening for me. Oh, whoa. What is this? This is nice. This is spectacular. Where though? Oh, right there in that middle part. Okay, right here. Initiating AZ maintenance protocol. Running AZ hardware diagnostic. AZ connection to Luna facility network failed. AZ network access port status defective. Okay. Replacement is advised. I gotta remove the ASC cover lid, place the network parts on the table, replace the network component, put ASC cover lid back in place. Interact. Okay. Collect that. Find replacement parts two out of three. I did, it just gave me one. Oh my god, it could be in this whole area. ASC keep memories safe. Turns the location of recording, activate any authorized AC unit, watch your memory come to life. That's cool. So that's what we witnessed. It's, it's kind of like the uh, echoes in Division. Exactly like the echoes in Division. Come on, another part. Yes. Okay, so they're they're near the, the other ASC units, looks like. Or on the trays. Gonna find another tray. Hello, back here. Oh, what is this? When Kathy Johansson was brought to the moon, Dr. Rosa Lever was immediately taken with the girl's vivid imagination. Determined to limit the impairing effects of the moon's low gravity on her new friend's physique, Rosa closely monitored Kathy's health and growth rate. Despite Rosa's good care, Kathy's health deteriorated rapidly during her stay on the moon. Oh, is that the little girl? Oh, man. But it makes sense, like you can't be raised like on the moon and all this stuff is different, like the atmospheric pressure and whatnot. Now where is this last part? Not that way. Wait, so why am I getting ASC though? Am I trying to relive one of my memories? Oh, I didn't check in here yet. There it is, of course. All right, let's go repair this bad boy. So, here we go. So it says, please remove cover lid. We're putting one, piece number one is this one. Um... I'm gonna go this way, like that. Right? Yeah, and then this one. I'm gonna go with the flat part towards the base. Like that. And then this part. I'm go. Oops, shoot. Like. Oh, 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 by the way, spinning around. That. Yeah. AC network access port replacement successful. AZ connection to Moon Hub facility network established. Proceeding with AZ hardware diagnostic. Oh, man. AZ thruster status defective. Full thruster replacement is advised. Of course. 
Of course. Now I gotta fix this bad boy. I gotta find one, two, three, four, five, six parts. Dude, what these parts look like. Young Claire Johnson Johansson claims was a competition trophy. Hmm. Oh, she won in a, a competition. See the vast paragraph. As part of a prize, Claire has received an open invitation to join Rose of the research team on the moon. So that's how she is basically showing us she's really, really smart. A lot of people in here. So Kathy is me. Daddy is forgot his name. Mommy Claire is on Earth still. Teddy Rosa Essie. I know you're busy, but can you install this one lets me roll? Yes. I know you're busy, but can you install a new module on ASC soon? Lead engineer Sarah Baker from Pearson Space Station has designed an additional emotion module that seems fascinating. It'd mean the world to me too, Kathy. Rosa. Well hi Rosa. I apologize, but pressing matters at Tombow required my full attention for the next few months. Besides, you know how dearly Kathy wants an ASC of her own. She hasn't stopped asking for one ever since you showed her yours. How are her growth results? Isaac, that's his name, that's a dad. Hi Isaac, of course, our duties come first. As for Kathy, I need to be honest with you, the test results are in and she's not growing like a girl her age should. I worry for her health, Isaac. Maybe she's better off on Earth after all. Please at least consider the program. Rosa, you know that she'd be no better off on Earth than here. I'll think about the program, thank you. You mean a lot to her. What program? Uh oh, some, something fishy. I thought I could sit in that. Okay, so let's be in this room, but... Oh, what is this bad boy? Nothing. Nothing, not a zip. Yo, what's the point of this room then? Maybe it's up here. New tech personnel arriving soon. They have a lot of people. You know, I bet you those are people that worked in the game. It's just like an Easter egg. That's pretty cool. I like when games do that. That's like We Happy Few. You donated to the Patreon or uh, to the what's uh, the crowdfunding website Kickstarter. If you donate to Kickstarter, they put your name, everyone's name, like seven thousand people who donate to that game. They put them in, in the game in this long like Easter egg that you had to get for an achievement. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find these parts. I'm gonna check back over here. There's a tray. There's nothing there. Oh, here's a tray. Oh. Okay, I, I, this happens every time in this game. I pass by something 18 times before I finally found it. Okay. Here we go. It needs to be that little cylinder first. This guy, I'm assuming. Okay. Skinny three ring, small skinny three ring. I'm guessing this one. Okay. Now a th fatter, thicker three ring. Oh wait, no, definitely not this one. Okay. Gotta be this one, maybe. Yes. Place. Oh, maybe we gotta spin around. Okay. Next up is the one with the grooves that I found earlier. This one right here. Down. Wait, is it grooves out? Okay, yeah, good. Uh, and now the next one is a thick one with the two lines. This one. This one, I guess? Nope. This one. 
Oh, there's the two lines, yeah. So two lines go out like that. No? Maybe like this. Okay. And the final piece. Goes on like such. Reboot, reboot. Initiate reboot, where? Reboot the AC unit at the computer in the front of the platform. Well, that actually told me where I need to go. Thank you, game. Whoa, okay. Whoa, what the? Star Wars stuff. Where's that power coming from? Oh, that back there. Can I do something without breaking something? Like... Oh my god. Live. It's like a little guy. They definitely took some inspiration from Star Wars from this game. Come on, Rolly Bully. Why is my guy moving so robotic? He's like, eh. Yo, I can play as a droid. That's cool. I'm playing as the droid. Find yourself a friend. I did. He's the best friend ever. Use ASC to reset the generator and leave maintenance. Oh, that's the generator. Can I do something with it? Wait a second. Do I gotta cut it with him? That's a plasma cutter, right? Yeah. Oh, now you wanna have a plasma cutter? Whoa. I feel like I'm in one of those cameras that goes inside people's bodies. Don't know where I'm going. I'm just following the cheese. I'm in a block of cheese right now. Um, shoot. Okay, can I go this way? Nice. Alright, let's fly through here. Fly through this cheese stomach. That was it? Two seconds? So that's what my ASC is going to help me for. Those little locks on the door right there. Is he seeing a memory of himself? That's weird. Okay, let's watch this. This is Isaac. Hi. I'm not sure if this message will ever reach you. I, uh... I don't think it will. But I'm trying anyway. We haven't spoken since the arguments about Kathy. I want you to know that she is safe and well. This message will be the last you'll ever get from me or from anyone else up here. It's probably something you'll never understand. <laughs> Hell, I barely do. If someone ever finds out what happened here, know that I did it for her. For your sister. To give her a chance. <laughs> but you'll do great. <clears throat> you'll do great things. Take care. And, uh... I love you. I wish I'd said that more often. <laughs> Back when you still called me dad. Goodbye. Claire. 
Claire and Kathy are sisters. Got it. Okay, I got something. All right, my next step is use the ASC to reset the generator and leave maintenance. I did that, so I'm gonna hightail it out of here. I'm gonna go right here, this looks new. Okay, there's a little bit of glitch here. Get out of here. Thank you, robot. Oof. All right, let's listen to this real quick. Still no trace. This just doesn't feel right. Alex, scan for data history. Uh, there's a recording. Rolf, come in. I think I've got something. I found a recording from the 23rd. That's what, two days ago? Are you sure? Yeah. Can you see it from up there? I think so. Go ahead. Alex, project hologram from September 23rd, 2054. This isn't just the Moon Up crew. There's too many of them. These are Tombow evacuees. How do you know? These names weren't here before. There's still dust on the stone. On the monument, you mean? Yeah. Victims of the Tombow evacuation. The date is the day of the blackout. Something big must have happened over at Tombow. Pearson coming in for expedition team. Sarah, Rolf, anything on the state of the MPT? The entire network is down, and I've had no luck with bringing it back online so far. Make it quick. If things don't work out with the network, head back up here, whether the MPT is online or not. You have 20 minutes left to make it in time for evac. Copy that, Control. Rolf, I'll check out the living quarters and then head back to the elevator. So Alex is her ASC, I'm assuming now. That makes more sense. They discover holographic material that might hold the clue to everyone's disappearance. There's a slow roll in this story. Like eventually we'll find it. Access the status and MPT network. It is offline. Diagnose it. It blew up. That's what's wrong with it. Station power is inefficient for long. Scroll manually realign MPT pillars one and two on the moon surface. Yes, I got. Yes, I have to go into the vehicles. Oh my God! Of course. Provide power to vehicle bay. Okay. All right, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for episode three. We have uh, semi-repaired the Copernicus Moon Hub. We have actually have a new friend now, a new droid. It's freaking awesome. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to the next episode. We can actually get on the moon surface. Um, please comment, like, share, subscribe, do whatever you got to do. It really helps the channel out. I appreciate it. But until next time, stay safe, have fun, and game on.